Hi guys, got a little bit of a task to perform. I'm going to try and get the hard drive out of that device there. But first, I need a screwdriver. I need a screwdriver. Uh, that's two cross heads. Have I got a flat head somewhere? Just in case I need to use it as a lever. There we go. I'll do. Alright. It'll still work without the hard drive in, you just won't be able to record it. I don't think I'm ever going to use that box for anything. So, uh, figured I'll just harvest the hard drive. So, from what I can see, I've got two screws on the... Yeah, two screws on the back. Which will take off the silver sides. One, two on the bottom, and one under this cover here. And hopefully, all the covers should come off. I do want to put it together. Because this box does work. Uh, I'm toying with the idea of setting it up under my TV. But... Uh, off you've got to lift a little tab at the bottom there. There's one on this side if I just lift that up and slide the ends off. That's those off. Uh, now I do believe as I said it's just one screw either side. Front here for where your viewing card goes. There we go. Undo that screw. Put those together. And I think if I can flip this little tab here. I think this cover should slide off. <laughs> oh, hang on. Does it slide apart or do I have to undo? There's a tab there. box. I'm getting this apart. There's no guarantee I'm going to get it back together again. <laughs> right. 
So I need to get this lid off. And it looks like I've got one screw there. Those go in the back, they go underneath. Go in a thingy. Right. Is that holding that? No, I don't think it is. Okay, oh, nuts. I need a pair of pliers, be right back. pair of pliers because this top is held on with them um, just twisted metal tabs that is it one there one there one there and one right there I think that is it where's my lever is that it is it gonna move now holding it in the back that I can see Just make sure I've not missed a tab anywhere yep this one's got a Wi-Fi card in it Nearly in. Come on. No, you son of a bitch. Get out of there. Right. I got that bit off. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Friggin' would be right up there, wouldn't it? And tell me I've got to take all the front panel off as well. Same style metal twist tabs to get these on and off. Ooh. Along with some plastic clips. I really didn't want this one coming off, did they? Right. Glad I took that off. We've got some screws under it. All right. All I want to do is just leave her. off like that and we're in. Perhaps I should have done it that way first instead of for knock that back into shape. <laughs> Oops. 
Right. So, let me bring you over here. This is what we've got. Whoa, stupid bloody tripod. This is what we've got inside, and I need to get to that. So, I'm going to pull off this, if I can get it off. If not, I'll pull it off from the hard drive first, then. And it looks like, to me, I'm going to need something just to snip those um, cable ties with them. Use an old pair of scissors. There's one. Hold that. There's a nice SATA to Molex adapter. Should I need one? Right. Oh, that wire come. Does it unplug from here? Does it? I hope so. Friggin' Separate that Pull that off And hopefully Disconnect that one And pull that one I'm starting to hate this dry tub and we should be able to take that out of our way. And there we go. Now, I do know that we've got some screws on the outside here, so I'm just going to undo those. One. I may have to put this end one back in, because that holds the bracket on that holds the... Um, circuit boards in place. Uh, I think I'm going to have to release this circuit board. Typical, isn't it? So I have to get the circuit board out, I've now got to undo all of that. Isn't that wonderful? So I'm going to get the two standoffs for this serial socket. And I've got to undo the two nuts that hold the input jacks on. I don't actually know what they're called. There must be a specific name for those. Here, make sure I was in shot. Such excellent camera skill, isn't it? Not one. Now I'm just going to check on the top here that there isn't any more screws. Something is still holding it somewhere. Somewhere in this... Oh, I know what it is. Hang on. It's got a big standoff header on there. Right. It does look like I'm going to have to put the uh, metal stand back in as well for this hard drive. Because it looks like... Looks like it doesn't want to come out. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I see. I need my pliers again. I'm going to lift you up in the air, don't I? I've got some little tabs there to bend if I can uh, get in there. There's four of them in total. Nothing on the front there at all holding that on. It's either that or I'll try and get a screwdriver in there and undo those. Should we try that? Can I? Bastard. <laughs> yeah. Um. Too much at the wrong angle. Let me just go and get a stubby screwdriver. I think next time I do something like this, I'll bring my tool tray through here. Let's see what I'm getting here with this. I've got a feeling this will probably be. 500 gig drive. It's what I've had out of one of these before. That's where one of mine actually came from. <laughs> right, so I've got to put a few things back. But, uh, yeah, hard drive is now released. Why? Why is holding that on there? Oh, a bit of glue, that's what was holding that on there. What we got? A 500 gigabyte SATA drive. There you go. So, what I've got to do, I've got to line that back up on there. But, because of the circuit board at the, on top here, I think that's a hard drive screw. Uh, oh well. I'm guessing that's not going to matter too much. Get a hard drive screw to fit, I'll use a hard drive screw. Okay, it's <laughs> hard drive screw don't fit. It's gone through that bit, but not the other bit. So I've got to try and remember what screw I took out of there and where I've put it. Because they all look the same. Oh actually no they don't. No they do not. Slightly smaller. Yep. Don't know if the fan will really be needed now. I expect it was only put there for the hard drive. Right. I'll put it back on anyway. So, uh, I've just had a thought. I've got a funny feeling I'm going to need a nut and a bolt to do this. Yep. Because uh, <laughs> that screwed into the hard drive. So I'm going to. Um, how long have I got left? Nine minutes. Right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just turn that off and see if I can just go and find a, a 
fairly short nut and bolt just to go through there. So I can put that clip back on. That way up. Right there. Because that's what holds the circuit boards on at the front there. So I can't really put it together unless I do that. So I will be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back with a little nut and bolt so we can uh, get this sorted now, I hope. It's actually screwing into the plastic. I didn't want to do that. Alright, let's get this bit into position somewhere there. Just lay that down. It's a bit too long for what I what it really needs to be, but that doesn't really matter because there's loads of room in there now because I've taken the hard drive out. I have stolen the hard drive. Really? <laughs> May not need a nut that much screw in as it is. Might put the nut on there just as a bit of extra security though, but it's actually biting quite well. May not need to put that bracket in then. Fudge. Butterfingers here is dropping everything. It'll take a while to screw this in because it's quite a long screw. I haven't really got anything shorter. Held it tight enough just like that, right then, as safe as the nut. And that bracket that made life easier. So, next job is to put this in. And I've got to line that up with this big ass header. Which is going to be bloody tricky. I'll tell you that, that's going to be tricky. It's just falling straight into place. Push that on there. And that comes through. That strip there. We're on. Put the fan back in. Just because I can. Uh, right. Aside from just putting all the nuts, bolt, nuts. The fucking nuts. Nuts, bolts and screws back together and the casing. So it's a screw in here that um, holds the circuit board to that metal plate under here, which is why I had to put that one back. I'm glad I solved that one. Uh, so two washers that I got going here. It's a square one. From the looks of it goes on first, because there's two little metal tabs on these ones that go into two little holes on the back here. So you put that one on first, your round one, and your nut. Make a saw. Finger tight for the moment. Brick dust in the threads from where this was uh, obviously drilled above to put the TV on the wall. I'm not covered up. And I'm going to have two standoffs for this. Not necessary, but they help to hold the uh, board in place. So, I'll put them in. Uh, 
And apart from putting that top panel back on, and completely bent this back panel, I might be able to do a bit of straightening up, but I guess it's got to be 100% perfect. Big old kink there. Oops. Right. I'm going to do everything up with the pliers now. Don't want to over tighten them though, they've got to be done up tight enough. Some hard drive screws lying here, which I don't need. Can you tell the processor gets warm? <laughs> it's under that heat sink. Maybe it is a good idea that I uh, put that back in. Right, I don't know what this cable's for. Yes, I do. It's for the Wi Fi. I'll plug that one in there. This one goes in down here. I'll put the back in first. Now that I know how to do this. It's got to be bent up a bit. Weird that that is all that holds this metal lid in place, just four tabs. And I'll secure this circuit board down again through some tabs and on a plastic clip. I'll get that other tab lined up. Push that one. See, there's the tabs for that plastic clip I had to put back on. We need that. All I've got to do is put my plastic cover back on. Uh, this is going to be fun. It was fun getting it off. Make sure I've got the wires connected here. Yep. Just lift that up. <laughs> Manufactured by Sky. Skybox. Why won't you go back to bed? One side to go together, then the other side doesn't. No, actually, both sides have not gone together. Right. 
one problem right now. Let's try that. If in doubt, hit it. <laughs> Just turn here so you can see what I'm actually doing. I was so engrossed into doing this, I didn't even look at the camera. Right. Slide that out again, just a smidge, I think. If that'll uh, slide out again. Bloody centre one. Alright, so that one lined up. That one lined up. Should all be lined up now. Something like that. Let's try getting some uh, screws. Totally off course. This end hasn't gone in. Oh, I'll faff around with that later, I think. There we go. We've got what I went in for. I don't remember where I put it. Underneath that. It's going to do that a lot of good, isn't it? Now use a Seagate video 3.5 hard disk drive 500 gigabyte date code 14302 so that would be 2014 it wouldn't be 2002 because these didn't exist in 2002 so it's got to be 20, 2014 that's the one at my old laptop right thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this little video so uh, I'm sweating a little bit I've got an errand to go and run so 
Thanks for watching and talk to you again soon. Bye.